Hello everyone, my name is Bernardo and this is how to do a maintenance on the Avance 1504 and 1506. To start off we have our lubrication chart on here and it shows you every spot where we need to oil uh, our machine and do our maintenance. So these are your oiling points. So all you're going to do is just place your oil on here and squeeze it once and that's good enough. So you're going to follow that same procedure on the rest of them. Okay. Then we're going to move up to your levers. Uh, same scenario, we're going to squeeze one good time, make sure we oil it, and then we do the following, all 15. And now when I explain all 15, if you have a multi-head, you're going to do the same procedure on all your heads. Um, now we're going to come down to your rotary hook. I already removed the two screws for, for easier and faster access for, for me now. Um, so we remove the two screws, we remove our plate, and our first point, looping point is right above. There is a gap on here. So you will see easily is again one simple squeeze and then we will come down to the bottom of the rotary hook. Now when you're here on the rotary hook you're going to see where you can actually place your oiler pointer and you will squeeze on there. You see the oils on there. Our next oiling point now is going to be right behind the rotary hook. You're going to see a small hole on there. Basically, it's the same process. We're going to squeeze, make sure we get a couple drops in there, and that's about it. Now, our next one is we're going to be removing the stop and start box. Okay, we're going to put this down, put this panel down on here. Okay, and then you're going to look behind, underneath your 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 head. You're going to see your guide rail, and then basically right there, you're going to see a small. You come around this way you're going to see a small gash on there and that one you want to give it give it about four squeezes now what that's going to do is that's going to go down a canal and it's going to oil our reciprocator our next oiling point we're going to find another hole back here okay uh, if you can't see it what we can do is we can move our turbulent arms forward and we go to our control panel, hit our forward arrow, and we should be able to clear it, okay? And then that's where we're going to oil it. And this is our oiling point. Same process. Throw one simple drop in there, and that is good. All right, our last oiling point is going to be right behind our heads, and you're going to see these rollers. Just so you guys know, and I want to mention, you're only going to put on the outside of these rollers, okay? Um, you want to apply a napkin or something over your table so it don't drip on it, well, that'll be fine. On the multi-heads, these rollers, you're only going to find it on head number one, okay? So this is only on head number one. Just so you guys know, I want to do uh, on that maintenance oiling point. On the rotary hook, you only oil it every four hours of use, okay? All your oiling points is only once a week. Uh, also, I want to mention uh, what we use here, uh, Coldesi is Coleman & Company, is Lily White Lubricant, okay? So it's just white machine oil. Okay, so now we're behind the machine and what we're going to do is you're going to see four of these metal plates in the back and each one of these plates represent one of your head. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove all the screws on every single plate. I already did it on this one just for easier access for now. Uh, we're going to lift the plate. Um, you're going to see in here how you're going to see some grease uh, on these gears. So if you see it that it's kind of dry or dusty or anything like that, you want to blow that off and then they leave you enough access of grease in here. Uh, I am going to stick my screwdriver. How do I grease it? Just with my screwdriver and what I do is I just lay it on there as easy as this, leave it alone, wipe off the access, make sure it stays in there and once you start uh, running your machine it will lubricate itself and if you remember where I asked you to lube the front of the rollers on this time what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the back of the rollers and again just to remind you this is only refers to head number one on multi heads okay now on to our, our next uh, greasing point uh, we're going to remove this plate okay is behind head number one you're gonna remove the two screws I already removed the screws as you can see uh, we we'll take off that plate, place it on the table, and you're going to see this gear here. So uh, basically we're going to do the same process we did in the back. We're going to apply 
some grease on there, once you start running your machine, um, she will lubricate itself. Now, just so keep in mind, you're only going to lubricate this if you see it dirty, okay? If it's dirty, you're going to wipe it off and apply new grease. What we're going to do next after that, the next uh, lubrication is going to be on this rail. Now, if you see this dirty, again, you're going to wipe it off and put a slim layer of grease. And to do the same process, you would hit uh, needle 15. It will change on you. You will remove your cover, and you will find this same uh, guide on the other side. Okay, and you will grease that. Just to remind anyone on how you oil everything on the rotary hook is every four hours of used on all the uh, oiling point once a week and on the greasing once a month only if you notice that it's dirty.